Purple Mash can be used on tablets. There's a Purple Mash browser app in the Apple App Store, the Google Play Store and the Amazon Fire Store. Access the relevant store and search for Purple Mash. You'll see the Purple Mash browser app in the search results. Tap Get. Once the app has been downloaded, you'll see it on the home screen for your tablet. On the iPad, if you press and hold down on the app, you can edit the home screen and you could move it down into the bar along the bottom. The first time you access the Purple Mash app, you'll be asked to log in. This is the main Purple Mash homepage. I'm going to log in with my email address. If I'm logged in as the admin user, I'll see a settings cogwheel to the top right. If I tap on that settings cogwheel, I'll be able to set the start page. At the moment, it's set to the main Purple Mash homepage. I could alternatively set it to be my school's Purple Mash quick login shortcut. This is recommended for iPads that the children are using in the classroom. Or you could set it to your school's Purple Mash portal. I'm going to choose quick login and I'm going to select done. Now I can log out. This iPad's now been set up. I'm going to come out of Purple Mash and if I re-access it, it will open up the guest user login. Children can then tap on guest user to the top and then select their class and their name and pop their password in to log in. Apple iPads and iPhones have a feature called guided access. This allows you to lock children into one particular app, which means that they can be locked into the Purple Mash browser app and clicking on the button won't close it. If I tap on settings and just pull down here, I can search for guided access. Guided will do. I can tap on guided access at the top. This will bring up the guided access settings. I use this toggle to the right to switch it on. At that point, I can select a passcode. Here I'm going to set the guided access passcode and I can enable touch ID if I want to. So the passcode has now been set. So when I tap guided access, it's now on and I've set the passcode. So I'm going to come out of my settings. This time I'm going to go back into Purple Mash. Now with Purple Mash open this time, I'm going to triple click my home button. One, two, three. And that will open up the guided access settings. Now at the top, I can simply press start or at the bottom to the left here, there's a series of options that I can set if I want to, including a time limit. I'm just going to press start this time. This will start guided access. Now I can browse Purple Mash, log in and interact with it as I normally would. But when I press the home button here, I can't get out. Guided access is enabled. So I'm locked into this application until someone switches guided access off. To do that, you can triple click this home button, one, two, three, and enter the passcode. You've now got the ability to end guided access. Now, when I push the home button, I come out of Purple Mash.